me close out by sharing with you something that happened to me in Southern California that's changed my attitude about customer service. I was asked to do a speech down in San Diego, La Jolla, my favorite place, by the way. And I was told once more to dress up, a uh, suit and tie in this case. I had a speech to give at 9 in the morning in San Diego. I had the option of driving down the night before and staying in the hotel or just getting up early and driving. I chose to get up early and drive. I know the 405, I gave myself plenty of time. I didn't wear my suit because I didn't want to ride, you know, driving for four hours. So I just put comfortable clothes on, decided I would change when I got there. I got there pretty good time. Uh, I'm speaking at, uh, at nine. I was there at 8.15. It's time to put on my suit. I did. And it was then that I discovered to my heart that my suit pants were there and the suit coat was there but my white shirt dress shirt was nowhere to be found and i panicked i called my wife tanya she said honey did you get there okay i said honey i'm here fine but honey i i do not see my dress shirt anywhere she said hang on she said oh james it's here on the foot of the bed you forgot to pack it i said i forgot my dress shirt what could be worse she said well you left your tie too I said, honey, I'm speaking in 40 minutes. You gotta help me. I cannot show up like this. She said, I'll look around. You start going everywhere. I learned that day, it doesn't pay you anywhere in California to say you're from Los Angeles. Seriously. I was going up to people saying, listen, can you help me? I'm from Los Angeles. They turn and walk away right there. I called my wife back. Honey, I'm speaking in 30 minutes. You got anything? She said, there's no Walmart in La Jolla. I said, honey, I could have told you that. This is a fancy area. She, she said, honey, I'm looking for any 24 hours. You see, the problem was in a fancy area, all the stores opened at 10 a.m. But I'm speaking at 9. I said, Tanya, I don't know what's going to happen. She said, well, what are you wearing? I said, I don't even want to tell you. She said, seriously, tell me. And I said, the green T-shirt. She said, no, you're not. I threw that away last week. And I said, I got it out for the trash truck, came. <laughs> Don't you have a shirt you might wear one day if, uh, if you're going to be working at home and nobody's coming over and you're just going to be there all day? That was my shirt. I brought it. Let me show you. I just realized as I grabbed this, this is very embarrassing because I've got my CC of fashion that's about to see how I was dressed. All right, guys. This is it. That's the original. That's what I was wearing. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Then I remembered, wait a minute. I've heard people tell me about great customer service in my classes with one particular clothing store called Nordstrom. I've never shopped at a Nordstrom. I've never been to Nordstrom. I heard they were expensive. So I never had even been. Called up Nordstrom. There's one in La Jolla. Good morning. This is Evelyn. What can I do to provide you with excellent service today? I said, are you for real? She said, yes, I am. <laughs> I said, man, you got to help me. I'm from L.A. I'm down here. I'm speaking in 20 minutes. She said, we'll take care of it. What do you need? I said, I need a shirt. I gave her the size. I need a gray tie. She said, stay on the phone. I'm going to guide you in. I said, thank you. She said, stay on the phone with me. I'll make sure you get here. I said, that's wonderful. I said, I'm surprised you're open. No one else is even open until 10. She said, oh, we open at 10, but you can't wait to 10. That's why I'm going to go outside and meet you in the parking lot with your clothes. She said, I'll be easy to spot. I'll be, our parking lot's totally empty. I'll be the only woman standing out there with clothes. <laughs> Then she said something that really blew me away. She said, George has already pressed your shirt. George pressed my shirt? My wife doesn't press my shirt? I said, this is incredible. She said, tell me where you're speaking. I'm going to run a map quest to hand to you. I gave her the address. She said, no need. It's right next door. You're going to make your speech. I pulled in that parking lot. I changed my clothes right there. I handed her my wallet. I want you to hear this. I literally said, I don't have time to go in. I had six minutes. I said, here's my wallet. I'll come back. That's how much I trusted her, by the way. And she handed the wallet back to me, and she said, I trust you. Go do your speech. I know you'll come back. She trusted me. And I'd already told her that I was from L.A. I was, I was impressed. 
I did my speech, and when I came back to pay, it was then that I discovered I paid $85 for this tie right here. (laughs) This is it. $85. This country boy from North Carolina has never paid more than $35 for a tie in my life, and I found out I just paid $85 for this one, and you know what? I didn't care. I love that term you used earlier, price justification. Her service was plenty of... I'm not saying money's unimportant. I'm saying this. When service is exemplary, price means less. Final thing that happened that day. I said, thank you. I walked out. And as I was walking out, she said, Mr. Lloyd, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to serve you today. She said to me, Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to serve you today. And all I could think is, she's the one that took the call before the office even opened. She didn't have to do that. She's the one that picked out my shirt and had George press it. She's the one that went outside to meet me in the parking lot. She's the one that was willing to do a map quest for me. She's the one that trusted me that I'd come back and pay. And after all that, she says to me, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to serve you. Whether you use those words or not, If our clients can hear that in our voice, after every call, after every email, after every one-on-one interaction internally, life will just get better for all of us in conclusion. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to serve you today.